Hi, it's Lois playing with paper. And today I'm coming to you with a journal I made for a sweet friend. And it's a Z journal, that's what I'm calling it. Um, I put little gold corner rounds on them. And uh, each side is identified by its own little pretty pretty. She wanted the journal to be blue and yellow. I put little door knockers. I don't believe they're Tim Holtz, but it's Tim Holtz inspired for closures. Um, she wanted a pretty chunky charms to go on it because it's such a massive journal. So we did that, or I did that. And each one has something different. None of it's the same. And I did some little art um, charms that I put glossy accents on and built it up to where it's nice and thick. She can take that off if she wants. She loves pansies. This journal has 274 pages, both the front and the back. But if you're just counting the pages, it's 137. There is 60 po pockets and tucks, four belly bands, um, 31 envelopes and baggies, 31 flips, and 45 cards and and tags, seven clips, and there is 47 items on the two charms. So it's quite intensive. It's a beautiful little journal. So I'm not gonna open all the, uh, the little envelopes and stuff in it. And I didn't count whatever was in the little envelopes, but she can uh, see what's in the envelopes when she gets it but there is lots of different little tags and tucks with things inside, extra journaling spots. I tried to make sure that each page was filled with something, had something to make it pretty and beautiful. So we'll just flip through and you guys can see all the goodies that I put in. And then this is an envelope. There is a lot of stuff. And this is a little bag. And I tried to be real creative on how I did it. Hopefully she gets some ideas and some inspiration out of it. It's a cute little angel. And I put different little uh, paper charms on each one of her little strings. Wasn't sure if she wanted to keep them or let them go, but she can decide to do that. She can cut them off. I just love that. I think that's pretty. And I did some little stenciling here and there. Something that she could still write on. Because I wanted the journals to be useful. Although we know a lot of the journals that we use, or that we that we make, never ever get used. We just put them on the shelf and they're just pretties to us. And that's okay if that's what she wants to do. Totally okay. There is a lot of reusable items. Like she could use one of these cards and not actually write in the journal and replace the cards. You never know. Still usable without writing in the journal. But there is little stuff tucked everywhere. That's an envelope. Creative madness. This is what this journal was. It was creative madness. She loves pansies. So I made her an art block charm. So there is a lot of little quotes. Dream, inspire, believe. And this is an envelope. And I'm not going to show you what's in the envelope. She can, she gets to have some surprises when she gets to see the journal. There is just so much. And this is a little envelope. And then it says Iowa, because she's from Iowa. There's just little stuff tucked here and there in the, in the journal. So she could have some fun, pull the stuff out and use it. A lot of extra journaling spots. And then make it also a pocket. I had a lot of fun creating this journal. I was down for a month and this was what I filled my whole month up with. 
sitting in my chair was making her journal. And I would tease her because I'm just that kind of a friend. Let's just tease her. And I would show her different things that I was doing in the journal in a roundabout way. This is three pockets. I might show her some lace and say, I wonder what I'm doing today. She says I was mean. I don't think I was. I think it was fun. I love the rhinestone and that is so sparkly. And then another art block in her blue and yellow. And then another fabric flip, another little envelope. There was just so much. I, I just really put my all in this one. And I love this. This was made with a junk envelope. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so adorable. I watched a lot of videos. I had my own cheater book. So I could um, put as many different things as I possibly could in this book. Oh, there's also a pocket there. I don't think there's anything in that pocket. I might have to fix that. But I tried to make sure this was a pocket belly band. And then this pops out. And then it pops out like this. So there's a whole sheet of writing space. Use the envelope as a tuck spot. And then here's the envelope with little goodies hiding inside. And then this was just an extra envelope. It was too big, so I stuffed it full of goodies and just stuck it at the back of this book. So that's side one, the little lady. Isn't she cute? She's just adorable. And then here is the other side. And this had different colored little beads on it, and I took those off and replaced them with yellow, and it was just perfect. So here is side two of the Z Journal. Got a cute little girl. She just needed a little bow. She didn't need much decoration. Tell your story. I actually had a lot of fun going through my stuff and looking for things that was just blue and yellow. I was amazed I had so much. But it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this book. amazing what you forget you got in your stash until you go looking for a specific color, a little cross on a bowl pen. This is an index card that I had did. thought it fit perfectly in there. It had a cute little quote on it. This is an envelope and each envelope has something in it just for her. So she'll have fun looking and trying to find all the tuck spots because some of them I even forget you're going to run across a page in here when I was counting pages that I missed and so I told her I said I'm going to send you all the extras and you get to decorate the one page the one double page spread that I missed so you can um, say that you helped make this little book so that'll be fun. I said, just got to show me what you did. And I did some little uh, stenciling here and there just to kind of decorate the pages, but nothing dark enough that she couldn't go ahead and write on it if she chooses. I just love these little flowers. And I used washi. We always forget to use our washi. Some handmade paper with little flower petals in it and a little journaling card on each side. And a little pocket here and of course if you're going to do a little pocket you might as well do a little hidden journaling spot and a butterfly. We always put butterflies in our journals. This is some of my um, cabbage dyed paper. So she really got a lot of goodies that I actually made. I had a little bag sitting there and I thought, well, why not? Let's just throw it in. It's another spot I can put something in. All kinds of little hidden spots. I love this. It 
it's the belly band, but it's got a hidden journaling spot. And no, it's not really blue and yellow, but I do believe she likes typewriter stuff. So I thought that was cute. Another little art charm. And that was layered with glossy accents. And let's see. See, some of these I forget what I did. What did I do? Oh, this was another tip out. And there's a little pocket in each, and then she can journal on the paper. Mm. Oh, there's another empty pocket. I need to shove something in there. You can't have an empty pocket. Another little envelope. I like the crunchy sound. That's why I added it. It's more of that cabbage dyed paper. It's so pretty. I love this washi. It is so shiny. It's so pretty. And I don't know where I got this, but I just, it's like vellum, but really super thick. Almost as thick as a cardstock. And then here is another belly band that flips out to little pockets with a little bookmark in each or a little tag. And then a little art card. Oops, let me get it back in there. And this is some of my um, Termic dyed paper. And another art, piece of art. Lots of pockets. I love these butterflies. And then there's a pocket. I hope I can get this back. Because it took a long time to figure out how to fold it. And it folds out to a piece of paper. And then you just fold in the centers and bring those together. And you've got a little hidden journaling spot that's kind of decorative. more of that cabbage dyed paper I did. Another little tuck spot. And this one had some writing space here, but then you had a couple little pockets, a double envelope. And this has three pockets. Each one has tags in it. And then you have a yellow guest check back here. Sometimes I had to get really creative on the blue and yellow. And I like the little flip. And this just kind of finishes it off a little bit. She is absolutely going to love it. She was just giddy with the little teasers that I gave her. And this was just a little fold out. Oops. There is so much on each page. This one has a little ticket that holds that together and it opens up for a little spot to do some journaling. That keeps it closed. I have to keep watching, make sure I'm in frame. This is a little pocket, a T for Tina, and some goodies in there. I had to be really careful on how much I put into this book because I, I put three signatures in, four signatures on one side and three signatures on the other side and it got really chunky to begin with. And so I had to go back through and kind of take some of the goodies out, but I had already made the goodies. So I'm still sending them to her. She can use them in other projects. Another little art charm. Some of this, uh, little vellum and this flips out this way there's a pocket and then a place to do some secret journaling and here's a tag inside of a little bag and here is a tag into there I'm telling you I really have to pay attention because I forget how this all came together it's like a puzzle a never-ending journal that's what this is a never-ending journal. There's a pocket and a little place for some secrets. We all got secrets. More of that little volume. And 
This was kind of fun. It opens up like this. Isn't that fun? And if I remember right, don't these open or is that a pocket? See, I'm telling you, I forget. There was 30 days of creating. Yeah, each one's a little pocket. We'll have to stuff something in there to make it nice and full. I tried to make sure that there was little sayings all through the book on the little hidden spots. And that everything was decorated just a little bit, even if it was just a piece of washi. We're almost to the end, and it's beautiful. And a great big, huge tag. And there's the end of that second signature. I really stressed over these closures. I couldn't figure out how to close a Z-book. And then it dawned on me, I just lifted the fabric a little bit, stuck in some of this, uh, actually it was light blue and I took a permanent marker and made it dark blue. And the little knobs. So all the fluffy stuff. Tina, I hope you enjoy this journal as much as I enjoyed making it because it was absolutely so much fun. And I included even quotes in all of her charms because I wanted her to have prettiness from the from when it's just sitting on a desk or on a bookshelf I wanted it to be pretty not only when she sees it and opens it up I wanted it to be pretty and then I put these little tiles my husband actually did these I would say your last name but I'm probably going to butcher it Tina Schwery. So that was, that was in this key here has Tina on it. Let's see if I can get it to say it. There we go. So it is the T coin from Tim Holtz says thoughts. That was such a good one to put on a journal. So that's the end of this journal. I don't know that I'd ever make another one because it was it was hard not to get it so chunky chunky. And I don't really know how big the journal is. I'm going to say maybe six inches by maybe four. So it's not a really big one. But it is big. Chunky. We did weigh it. My husband and I had a bet on how much it weighed. It is two pounds with all of its charms and its paper and its decorations and embellishments, it is two pounds and it is a chunky monkey. So that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys on the next video.